On this fateful night, I used massage lube instead of real lube. Sadly, it is your mum who doesn't know anything. It is the Pope who doesn't know anything. I even read an article about a 100 year old axe murderer who bludgeoned his partner to death. Even at that age, he did not know anything. No matter how much you want to believe you have got all the answers, you don't and you cannot. Feel all the things you need to feel in life. Don't hold back from your dreams. Cry yourself to sleep tonight. So I am saying you cannot reach your potential because it does not exist. On this fateful night, I used massage lube instead of real lube. Now what happened was what happened could have been tragic, but I got lucky. So, you know, because of how unexpected this was, I had this thought, like, was this really supposed to happen? Because I planned to be a, a genuine dad and a husband. So surely this mistake can't fuck that up. I'm, I'm going to be great. What's going on? Am I that irresponsible? Surely not. Yes. Is the answer. So what I learned from that fateful Friday night on a second date, besides that massage lube has multiple poor properties, is that I have really far to go. I have really far to go. I do not know anything and that proves true time and time again. But it's not just me. It is the entirety of reality. Sadly, it is your mum who doesn't know anything. It is your dad who doesn't know anything. It does. It is your grandpa, grandma that don't know anything. It is your friends that don't know anything. Your boss, your lecturers, cars that that beep at you at the traffic lights, the Pope. But I will say, your parents and your grandparents and the Pope all know a lot more than you do, you and I, both of us. Now, in relation to potential. What I learned on this fateful night was specifically that when growth of character and knowledge is limitless, reaching your potential is an impossible feat. I even read an article about a 100 year old axe murderer who bludgeoned his partner to death. Even at that age, he did not know anything. He did not have it all figured out. So neither should you and neither will you, no matter how much you want to believe you have got all the answers, you don't and you cannot. It's something that even works for you and works for me may not work for everybody else because they could have their own perspectives to your advice or in their life overall. So I am saying you cannot reach your potential because it does not exist. But this video is not all about doom and gloom. It is this. I want you to embrace the fuckery that is the world. I want you to embrace and accept your mistakes, your cluelessness, your lack of knowledge, your constant search for meaning and for all the answers, that fruitless and futile quest that never ends. Feel all the things you need to feel in life. Don't hold back from your dreams. Cry yourself to sleep tonight. Fucking do it. Say some truth to yourself in the mirror. Like look at yourself in the mirror and say something truthful and that you just need to admit to yourself. Say it and then go cry and listen to music in bed. Go get on a train and go to some random place. Go fucking ask that 
girl or boy out that you've wanted to go fucking book skydiving for two days from now. Stop trying to be perfect. Stop trying to be politically correct. Stop comparing religious denominations. Stop hope you're being funny enough. Stop wondering what everyone is thinking about you because... What does that even mean? Who are you? Who are who are you? Who are they? The thing, the adjectives that people say about you: "Oh, you're this, you're that, you're fucking a, a, a dickhead." What does it all mean? What does that mean? All your subjective opinions, all the. Millions of possible things that can happen to you in your life. Where are the absolutes? Where are the certainties? Where is the answers you're looking for? Where are they? They're not there. You cannot have all the answers. All the answers do not exist. Allow yourself to relax your veins, to relax your feet into the floor, to look down, to put your head in your hands, to fucking shake your head like this because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't know what the hell is going on. Allow yourself to have flaws. This is for another video, but learn to laugh at the thoughts in your head. They're bullshit. It's all bullshit. I think. I th I think all the th I think thoughts are just take the thoughts you want, but they're just based on stimulus from the outside world. They're not you. They're not necessarily real. They're just substance that you can do what you please with. You don't have to use, you don't have to, you don't have to tend to all of the thoughts. So when I say your thoughts are bullshit and, and a lot of stuff can be bullshit is that nothing is absolute. Nothing is absolute. Nothing is certain. Nothing is completely known. I'll give you this piece of advice though. If you are responding to a thought or a life event, just, just respond like the person you want to become. Whoever you want to become, just respond to the best of your ability like that person and don't worry too much besides that. Just do your fucking best. Do your fucking best. I will emphasize that I will fully never understand everything or anything really or anything. And neither will you. Neither will anyone you know. We are all using our feet to walk and using our brain to absorb. That's all we're doing. But we're all just doing it different, different ways for different numbers of decades. Stop doing this. <laughs> Your response to things being as much as possible in accordance with who you want to be is really all you can do. But at the same time, accept that everything will happen as it fucking is. You have control over your future, I will say that, but... You don't know everything about cause and effect in this universe. Nobody does. You think you're impacting a certain thing, but you really don't fucking know that. You really don't know what you're causing. You can't. So... If you want accountability in your life from similar people, join the Peaky Pines Discord community. <coughs> uh, people who want to embrace the universe in all its glory. And if you do want to get to know who you want to be, 
so you can make decisions, check out this video or the video in the description about how to get to know yourself deeply. Enjoy that and take care.